Hey guys, Kevin here to bring you a brand new video where today we're going to be doing day two of Horror October 2022. And the movie that we're going to be talking about today is a short movie that I just watched recently last night, and that movie is called Bliss. Uh, this movie is available on Amazon Prime. It's very short. I feel like it's not really that well known, but it's definitely a uh, unique one. Um, it really, like, goes, like, kind of, like, off the rails as far as, like, how crazy it gets. Um, like, if there was a movie about, like, you know, like, how far you could, like, be as far as, like, um, like, rated R material, like, this movie would certainly, like, achieve that, like, really well. Um, it's not really, like, a messed up movie. It's just, like, it's very, like, vulgar. Um, they swear a ton in the movie. Not that I really care, but, you know, they just, they swear a ton. And they also, like, have a shit ton of nudity. Like, so much nudity. Like, I think the main character is probably, like, naked for, like, fucking a quarter or a third of the movie. Like, not even joking. Like, like, they did not care. And, like, there was, like, so much blood and, like, gore and violence and... Um, this movie is just an insane, like, roller coaster ride, um, about, uh, drugs, and, uh, I guess what they can do to you, um, in this sense, it's a very, um, extreme example that this is setting, but, yeah, um, drugs can be really bad, uh, yeah, uh, with this, um, I guess there's this drug called Bliss, and that's, like, what the movie is the, the name of the movie comes from is that this person does a drug called bliss um and i i don't know i mean i tried looking it up i think it's like it's like a form of like cocaine or something of that sort um basically just like makes you see shit and like black out or just like lose it or just lose control or i don't even know um basically this woman like wants to be like a painter and she starts, like, getting into drugs, and that kind of, like, ties into her painting, um, pretty much. Um, yeah, I like the movie a fair amount. Like, I didn't, like, love it, but, like, because, like, I found, like, the craziness of it was, like, just a bit, like, much for me, but, like, I still really liked it. Like, um, you know, it got, like, really, really, like off the rails like I don't know like like with this whole like drug addiction thing and I just I just can't say I was like really loving like what this character was doing and like like how they were and like what they were going through like I couldn't you know I'm obviously I'm not a drug addict like that so it's just like I mean I guess you don't have to be like that to enjoy the movie but I just feel like you know uh, that's not something I do so it's just like I just have a hard time like really really um you know resonating with that so much but it's still like really well done though and with like how um like violent it is it's it's really like entertaining um to see like what this person really does um like while being on drugs um kind of thing and you know like visually um you know like with you know, taking drugs, of course, it's gonna, like, make you see some shit, so it's, like, visually, um, this movie is, like, really in touch with that, and it kind of, like, understands, like, okay, you know, this person's on drugs, so, you know, their world is gonna be, like, so weird, um, so, like, a lot of, like, the visuals in this are, like, really good, and, like, how it's shot is, like, really good, too, like, there's one specific, like, part where she's, like, calling people, um, and she's, like, really anxious, and she's like walking around like in circles and the camera just keeps like circling around as she's like walking around in circles really really fast um and that that part just like had, it was such like an anxiety inducing part um that was like so well done so like things like that things like that are like really good and it just it just ramps up the intensity a lot and you know i kind of have to like give it a little bit of props too because like I feel like, you know, you don't necessarily, like, feel like it's horror at first, and then it kind of just, like, brings it on, like, all of a sudden, um, as far as, like, the horror goes, I felt like, 
where like like initially it didn't it, there wasn't really like much horror going on and I was like is this really a horror movie and then it like really like turns into a horror movie um so yeah I mean I, I didn't love it but I think it was really good and yeah like as the story develops like it's it's definitely like an interesting like plot with like you know like what happens as far as like um like how the story develops I won't I won't reveal too much but it's interesting um, to look to, to have in a movie like that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give this movie an eight out of ten. I think it was it was solid. So yeah, definitely go watch Bliss. Definitely recommend. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.